Well, race day on Friday will be the Friday before Christmas. So very exciting. And even more exciting is that it's going to be the first juvenile race of our Eastern Cape season, dashing over the 800-meter sprinting trip. The Smith Yard have a handful of runners to get started in the first race. And their first two baby runners will be First Origin, a cult by What a Winter, and Global Force, a cult by Global View. Yeah, no, it's nice, boys. Um, uh, all of these cults have pretty much been ready to run and uh, it's nice to be able to step them out for the clients and some are needing, I'd say, more experience than others and some are just quicker than others. But um, these two boys, they're pretty sharp and they were nice out the gates and uh, expecting fair runs. They'll be joined by Pisces, who's a cult by Flower Alley, and Vision of Wonder, a cult by Visionaire. Yeah, Vision of Wonder, quite quick, uh, quite a nice strong cult. Uh, Pisces, it looks like it's going to be more effective over further notes. And finally, Watchtower, who's a cult by Jackson. It's surprisingly very quick. Um, for, for, for 800 metres, he should be spot on to be thereabouts as well, notes. Fantastic. So an exciting hand there for the yard. We move on to race two, where we will see Kind of Blue and Goom Goom, and both these horses have the form to be competitive for the win. Yeah, no, it's kind of, kind of Blue. She raced up last week, but the field cut right up, and she took her run pretty well. So decided to take a place in the lineup and uh, she ran a fair race and her form is hard knocking, she'll be thereabouts. And the same as Gungum, um, you know, uh, right track and trip for him and he'll be thereabouts. On two race three, Civil Right, she's at best over a thousand metres. She'll be joined by Vegas Gold, who is at better off at the weights at these conditions at this level in handicap company. And this fellow in shot behind us, Liddell's Echo, who takes a leap up in class, but he does look progressive. Yeah, I, I've got to agree with you, Nates. I think uh, Vegas is probably much better in um, in the division that the type of race it is. He comes in with the handy weight and draw. Um, Liddell Zeko is coming along nicely, but it, it's a big step up for him. And Silver Rights, she's got to take on the boys with top weights, which is not going to be easy. Um, you know, I've got a healthy respect for the for the favourites, so it's it's going to be a nice, it's a small but interesting race. In race four, both runners ran good races in their last start stay. The course a solid fourth and verified so narrowly touched off a second. Exactly that, Nates. Um, solid form, came to the runs well and expect both of them to be knocking. Um, unfortunately, both of them drawn a touch on the wide side and over a thousand metres, it's not the easiest. So we're just going to need some luck. We move on to race five, three runners here, My Mia who's back off a break and she'll be racing alongside Big Sky Country and Baby Don't Hurt Me. Yeah, Baby Don't Hurt Me and uh, Big Sky Country doing good work at home. Um, I wouldn't leave them out the quartet's notes and uh, My Mia coming back from a little bit of a break just couldn't get her in the right race with, with at least a draw. Um, she may just be in touch with a hard race. We move to race six, the two runners then in focus who looks to be finding form again as well as Power Surge who will enjoy a neat draw for his handy running style. Exactly that, uh, Power Surge, uh, he likes to be up handy, he's got the draw so it's pretty easy for him like that. And uh, then in focus, it's his second after the Gelding Nine, he has made improvement. We move to race seven and here we'll see all of uh, Life on Mars who is in solid form actually against Stronger, be joined by Cruzador as well as Jet Mirage. Jet Mirage, naughty boy at the gates, uh, last time he fly jumped out and didn't join the race but um, if he behaves himself, we've taken him back to the gates again, if he behaves himself he'll be in the money, um, he loves the track and trip and uh, Cruzador I think the 14 is probably the, the stretch of his distance so it's going to be a little bit of luck from the draw how we can ride him. And um, in saying they ran on nicely last time, and he was drawn pretty much the same. And uh, Life on Mars, I have to agree with you, um, he's running against Stronger. I thought he ran against a tough field last time, and he gave a good account of himself. Busy finish for the yard, and in race eight, we're going to start with the first two runners, River Cafe and Emmeline, both of whom will be advantaged by neat draws. Yeah, River Cafe, nice draw for a change, but she has got top weight. But in saying that, she's a four time winner running against one and twos. So um, it, it's a nice type of race for her. Emmeline, I feel, will need a hard race. Um, she's coming off a break. They'll be joined by Basetsana and Maiden's Cove. Unfortunately, the shoe's on the other foot, and both these girls will have wide draws to beat. Yeah, it's going to be lucky in running. Their work at home is good. They're looking tremendous. Uh, Maiden's Cove comes off a gutsy win, and Basetsana ran just off them. Um, but it's going to be how we can get across from those draws. The final two runners, My Guru and Mansuria, will both be running off Maiden wins. Yeah, it's a nice step up for them, this type of fillies race, and they're coming with low weights. And um, they won nice maiden races, so if we can just step it up a gear uh, with a lightweight, I wouldn't leave them out the quartets. 
another very exciting lineup for the Smith Yard on Friday and definitely be taking good account of those runners.